Performing Data Upload In this video, we'll show you how to perform a data upload of your company records. If you haven't seen it yet, check out Preparing for Data Upload. This walks you through the main steps to ensure your records are uploaded smoothly. Click My Profile, Administration, Data Management, Data Upload. Select Company and click Continue. Click New and you arrive at Step 1 of 4. Browse to the file you want to import and add a description for the upload. Let's look at some fields which can be tricky. The Merge Rule field lets you merge your new data with the data that already exists in your database, or overwrite the existing data with your new data. If you choose to overwrite data, make sure the column headers still exist in the upload file. Also, if any field in your file is blank, then the corresponding records in Sage CRM do not get these fields overwritten. No matter which merge rule you choose, the process will follow any deduplication rules that you specify. This can be a dedupe rule you set during the upload. Or, even if deduplication is set to no in system behavior, the upload still deduplicates your records based on exact matching of company name, person name, and address 1. Select the Map Selection Fields to Codes option if you want Sage CRM to try matching the selection fields translations in your file to existing codes in Sage CRM. If a new selection field is present in your file, Sage CRM adds the uploaded field name to the database. In this case, the caption code will be the same as the selection. Unselect the option, and the selection list choices you entered as translations rather than caption codes in your upload file are not added to the database. This means when you edit a company record, you must set the drop-down field to a selection which already exists in Sage CRM. Click Save. Step 2 is where you map any fields which aren't mapped yet and review the rest of your mappings. If deduplication is enabled, you must apply at least one dedupe rule to a company field and one to a person field. For example, click Company Name and add a dedupe rule, for example, Exact Match. Then Save. And do the same for a person field. Click Preview Data Upload to proceed to Step 3. You can now view your data. If you're happy to proceed, click Do Upload. Let's skip this duplicate record. And you're done. The records have successfully been added to Sage CRM, except for the one that we just skipped. You've now seen everything you need to know in order to perform a data upload. Thanks for watching.